If I was to ask you to conjure up in your mind the image of a Neanderthal, you might imagine a knuckle-dragging, brutish creature. Well, it turns out the truth is far more interesting. Now, Neanderthals show up about 130,000 years before us, Homo sapiens, and evolved outside of Africa, in Europe or Asia, spreading all the way from Wales to the mountains of Siberia. An interesting question in bringing a Neanderthal to life is skin color. Now, this would probably have varied Neanderthal to Neanderthal, but DNA samples of Neanderthal specimens from modern Europe found that those individuals probably had pale skin and some possibly even red hair. It seems that some Neanderthals might have adapted to the European environment, which is a higher latitude and therefore you have less sunlight. And lighter skin means that you can produce more vitamin D, even if you have less sunlight. So essentially, before Neanderthals, there was no need for lighter skin. And that's why we didn't have white people until then, because they hadn't been invented yet. Physically, you can see that Neanderthals looked markedly different to modern humans. As for the skull, well, their brain size was similar to ours. So what does that tell us about Neanderthal smarts? Obviously, they definitely didn't achieve as much as Homo sapiens. They didn't write or paint the Mona Lisa, or for that matter, create catastrophic global weather conditions. But they were definitely smarter than we used to think. They crafted tools, cooked with fire, decorated objects that may have been used as jewelry, and some may have even buried their dead. And finally, they're receiving some posthumous decent PR.